and welcome to The Dog Dish. My name is Joni Toole and I have Zoe here with me. I know it's called The Dog Dish, but I have a cat. Uh, imagine that. Um, at the Oakland County Animal Shelter, we have the majority of our dogs and cats up for adoption. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, adopting a cat today. Um, cats are wonderful animals um, because they are so easy, uh, way easier than dogs. Um, but yet they still have all the personality and all the fun like a dog. So if you have someone who's elderly, someone who can't get around very well, or you're just not at home enough for a dog, a cat may be the best pet for you. Um, just giving it some food and some water and a litter box and you're pretty much set to go. Now, my stance on outside cats is a no, a hard no. Uh, I see what can happen to cats when they're let outside. I know a lot of cats want to go outside um, and a lot of people think that that's in their nature and that if they are not let outside that they don't live a happy life. But I'm here to tell you that I see a lot of damage that's done to cats that roam and get into things. They can get into the garbage and get poisoned. They can get you know, beat up by dogs and other cats, hit by cars. And it's really sad when we see those cases come into the shelter. So if you are thinking about a cat, I hope that you think about keeping it indoors and making it an indoor cat um, only. I also wanna talk about um, researching your breeds. And um, I know a lot of people come to the shelter and they go by looks. Um, we're all like that, we're very visual, uh, we like what we like. And a lot of people, I'll say, they gravitate towards the very pretty dogs, like the Huskies and the, and uh, the Rottweilers and uh, the very visual dogs. Um, but they may not fit into your home life. Uh, Huskies are uh, known for you know, pulling sleds. They're a working dog. So they're not gonna be happy just sitting on the couch at home with you. They're gonna need a lot of exercise. So if you're not able to give that dog that time, um, taking him out every day, making sure he gets lots of exercise, then they're going to start being destructive. And that dog is telling you um, that it needs more exercise and more attention from you. Uh, you might come home and your couch is chewed up or your shoes are chewed up. Well, your dog's telling you that they are bored and they need more exercise and more attention. Um, I know Do Only Good is uh, coming today with a beautiful dog and they're going to also talk about uh, doing your research and making sure that the pet that you choose fits into your lifestyle. And um, I just, I, I've always um, told people just research. Um, you have to do your research before you adopt a pet. It's not something that you want to take lightly and just jump into. Um, these are animals, they're living things, and if it doesn't work out, what are you going to do with that animal? Are you going to turn it over to the animal shelter? Are you going to find someone else who's going to take the animal from you? Are they going to be nice to that animal? Are they going to give it a good loving home? These are all things that you have to think about um, before you adopt a pet. And I also want to talk about um, winterizing. If you do keep your dog outside, you need to make sure that you provide it with food, water, and shelter. And in the winter, the shelter has to be insulated. And then there are nights that it dips below zero, and even that's not going to be safe for your pet. So when you hear on the news, you know, we're gonna have below freezing temperatures, you really need to bring your animals in, they mean that. And your dog shouldn't be kept outside in that kind of weather. You also need to feed it a high quality dog food if you're gonna leave it outside. They need those calories and you're gonna to have to up the food intake as well. So these are all things that you need to think about before you get that pet, before you go to the animal shelter. Um, and please visit the animal shelter first. Don't go to the pet store. If you're looking for a particular breed, it's always best to look for a breeder. Um, stay away from the pet stores. Um, I know they're quite expensive and you may not get exactly what you bargained for. So if you're looking for a pet, come to the shelter first, look into breeders, 
Um, we always have a wide variety of animals at the shelter for adoption, and they're all wonderful, and they're just waiting for their second chance at that loving home. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Do Only Good Rescue, has, who has a very special furry friend today, and we'll see you back here soon. Have you ever wanted to produce your own TV show, short film, or podcast? ONTV offers the training, facilities, and equipment to make it happen. To get started, sign up for ONTV's weekly video production classes covering studio production, portable HD camcorders, and non-linear editing. The 10-week workshop costs $20 for Lake Orion residents, $50 for non-residents. Upon completion of the classes, ONTV's facilities and equipment are yours to use at no additional charge. Produce your own talk show, cooking show, or short film. ONTV also offers a two-night podcast class, which gives you access to equipment to produce your own podcast. For more information, give us a call at 248-693-3377 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back to The Dog Dish. I'm Trisha Gogola with Do Only Good Rescue, here with Beth Heimbuck with Do Only Good Rescue and our friend Sheba. Hi Sheba. And we're here to talk to you today just a little bit about decompression. When you adopt a dog and you bring them home, they really need time to adjust. And that's our biggest thing we see with our adopters is finding people to give them that time to adjust. The dogs need to be able to build trust with people, build trust within the home, with other animals. It's not instantaneous like people think it should be. It takes time. Dogs have emotions, they have feelings, they need time to learn a new environment and what's expected of them, the noises, the smells, and it all takes time. And right now with the holidays, we see a lot of people wanting to get new animals, you know, as Christmas present, bring a puppy home. But the biggest thing is when you do this, you have to remember they are adjusting to your house. They are learning all the rules of your house. And from what we've found, it takes you know several weeks to a month for them to really learn the rules, especially if there's other animals in the home and kids. And we all know the holidays are a stressful time. So even if you have animals within your home right now, the holidays are stressful. You have a lot more chaos, a lot more people coming in and out, a lot more noise. So you have to take that into account when you're having holiday parties and things like that, that it sometimes can get overwhelming for the dogs and the animals, that they need a little time out and time by themselves just to get away from the chaos. And that's what, so when we say decompression, that's what we mean is kind of giving them time to just chill, to uh, be patient, right Sheba? <laughs> and just give them quiet time by themselves, especially if you have a lot of people over. Give them, you know, at the shelter we do a lot of enrichment. It's giving them something they really like, whether it's a Kong stuffed with, you know, yummy stuff, um, or a bone they really like, and giving them time out with that by themselves to just relax. A lot of dogs come in and they present their anxieties and stress in different ways. Like Sheba here came in with her sister. She is terrified and she just shuts down. She doesn't walk, she doesn't move, she just needs time to build trust a lot where her sister presents in a much more anxious way where she has hyperactivity and things like that. So anxieties present in different ways in dogs just like they do to people. And you need to take time to get to know your pet and what they're trying to tell you and what you can do to help them. She just needs comfort, she needs closeness, she needs security, and she <laughs> you can see she just is so into having somebody around her and she feels secure by having somebody by her. She likes a good doggy massage. Dogs like doggy massage. <laughs> and this helps her relax and build trust. And that's a big thing as you're looking to add another animal to your you know, home. What a lot of people, as Joni touched on, are looking at looks. You need to look at the dog as an individual and how they're gonna fit into your home, personality-wise, behavior-wise, because we want them to stay with you forever. So you've you know, yeah, she is adorable, but is she going to be the best fit in your home? It's hard to say. We need to know, you know, more about... She would probably do better in a home that is quieter because she is so shy and reserved. A lot of chaos is going to be overwhelming to her. So a home filled with kids and three other animals is probably not going to be the best 
place for her. She'd probably do better in a quieter home with less noise and, and activity. Um, and over time, you know, that will change too, but it, she needs time to adjust. But I think she's always going to just be a little bit more reserved and quiet because that's her personality, right? And with decompression, you know, we always tell people to, trainers, which is one of the biggest things we offer our adapters is a training session because there's so many th options and ways to help your pet. They communicate in ways that, you know, are maybe not obvious to us, but are obvious to professionals, which is why we provide that for people. Because they do. Dogs communicate a lot. We just don't pick up on it. So it's important to learn. Like in certain dogs, panting could be a sign of stress and anxiety. Lip licking, their ears going back, you know, drooling. There's a lot of things dogs try to tell us that we need to be aware of. So to educate yourself on that, not only will it help your dog, you'll help yourself with having a, a easier adjustment to your home. And patience. I think patience is the biggest thing, especially for your animal, but for yourself. Give yourself time to adjust. I think the first two weeks are always the hardest. When I bring a new foster dog home, I'm always like, why did I do this? This is hard. But once you get through it and get everyone adjusted, it's really well worth it. So I think that's a big thing, just giving everybody in the home time to adjust. And some are quicker than others. Some you might have a dog that comes in and they're fine day one. Others, it could take months. It's, you just have to be willing to put in the time and invest the time with that dog and you'll end up with a great result. And I think that is about what we've got today. So thank you so much. Thank you from Sheba. So Sheba is available and her sister is too. We did, just, did do DNA on Sheba. She is part American pit bull, part beagle, and part catahoula. So if you're interested, you do your research on those breeds to know what they you know, dominate in, you know, activity-wise, level-wise, shedding, things like that that matter to people. So do your research on the breed. It really makes a difference in making the right choice for your home. So again, I'm Trisha, and this is Beth, and we're, do and we're with Do Only Good Rescue. And you can come to the Oakland County Animal Shelter and meet all the awesome dogs that are available for adoption through them. Um, we, you know, the Oakland County Animal Shelter, certain dogs based on breed, behavior, our list is rescue only. So those adoptions go through us and you can go to our website and see all of those dogs at doonlygoodrescue.com or just come to the shelter. We're always there and uh, we're happy to show you all of the dogs. And we also do have our senior sitter and dog day out program. So even if you're not in the market to adopt at this time, you can also do one of these two programs and give the dogs a break from the shelter and just decrease their anxiety and have a good day with a great buddy. So thank you and hopefully we see you soon. And just to wrap up, from all of us at the Oakland County Animal Shelter and from Do Only Good Rescue, we want to wish all of you the happiest of holidays. And if you're in the market for a furry friend, please come down to the shelter and check us out. We have lots of wonderful animals. So until next time, this is Joni Toole and Trisha and Beth from the dog dish and we'll see you all later.